the Pythagorean theorem. So for any right triangle with legs of length a and b and hypotenuse of length c, a squared plus b squared will always be equal to c squared. This is known as the Pythagorean theorem, and that's what we're going to show here. Also, it turns out that if a triangle has sides of length a, b, and c, where you can write, where you can express these or relate these lengths with the, the equation a squared plus b squared equals c squared, it turns out that that has to be a right triangle. But we're just going to prove the first claim here. So to do this, we're going to arrange four identical right triangles into a square. And we're going to find the area of this larger square two different ways. The first way is just to treat it as a large square with side length a plus b. So its area is a plus b squared. Done. To move on to the second method, we can look at the four triangles around the edge, the right triangles, as well as a, an orange square with side length c and side. So the area of these four triangles, each triangle has area of 1 half times base times height, or ab over 2. And the central square has area c squared. So the total area of the big square is 4ab over 2 plus c squared, which we can simplify to 2ab plus c squared. Now we can set the areas, these two areas that we've calculated, to be equal to each other because they're both the area of this larger square. So our first result was a plus b squared. Our second result was 2ab plus c squared. And setting these equal to each other, we can expand a plus b squared. So it's a squared plus 2ab plus b squared and set that equal to our second result. The 2ab cancels on both sides and we're left with a squared plus b squared equals c squared, the Pythagorean theorem. Now notice that we didn't make any assumptions about the lengths of a, b, and c, just that a and b were the legs of the right triangle and C was the hypotenuse. So because we didn't make any specific assumptions about A, B, and C, this must be true for all A, B, and C. This must be true for all right triangles.